it did. But actually the title could have been October Never Ends. Because, well, it never does end. It could happen at any time and any moment. Let me get it straight to you. I mean, yes. This past October, which ended yesterday, I mean, there were a couple moments, and no, I'm not going to do the stupid little dance that you saw a couple years ago, because that was offensive. Hell, even was offending to me. And I was the one who did. But we're not going to cry about that right now. What we're going to cry about is the fact that, yes, even though things do happen and could happen, it seems to happen in October. But what happens if a whole year was October? This is pretty much where the story comes in. It actually started Christmas Eve 2017. When, yeah, my mom took her dog out to do her, to do his business. And for those who are wondering, it was Boogie. And I made a video of him, a quick video. And then after he passed on, I took it down. Never to be seen again. But the point is, it's like, it got, I mean, literally, this was at night. I mean, you think nothing would go wrong. But apparently a rabid dog, I'm not sure what kind of dog it was, literally came out of the middle of nowhere, grabbed Boogie, literally, <laughs> and just, so, yeah. Unfortunately, he could not be saved and had to put, be put down. So, yeah, Christmas Eve, yeah, not a good thing. So that was pretty much the beginning of the end about celebrating Christmas. But that's also going to happen later in the story. So yeah, that was the beginning of what could have been October and December. January, well, it was January. What do you want? It was cold, gray, and suck. Not a lot of snow because, well, it was middle of Tennessee, but did get some snow, but... It was cold, gray, and suck. February. <sighs> February, while well, the beginning of it was kind of whatever, hell, celebrating my dad's birthday for the last time. It will be later on. I mean, it's just like any other day. I mean, go to work, get up, go to work, suffer, come home, drink beer, and everything else. But then the 23rd of February, that day, that day will live forever. I mean, my brother was trying to was trying to call me, literally killing my phone, and I literally had to call him, and it's like, what? And he's telling me everything. I'm like, oh, God, no. And seriously, my mom was almost, almost got killed by some idiot on a sport bike, doing 140 miles an hour, training for the next Fast and Furious movie, and decided to slam into the side of a Ford Ranger. And I like that truck, too. But, I mean, third degree burns, everything, it's like, and the next 48, 72 hours, you don't know if she's going to die. You don't know what's going to happen. It would have been a major October moment to lose a parent. I mean, thankfully, she's still alive. She's still with us today, but she still suffers PTSD and everything else, but whatever. And there were times, and just, it just got getting worse. I mean, not my mom's officially, just the whole October thing, because my truck decided to fucking die, or it was starting to die, around March. And I got that fixed, and it was doing fine, and then fucking threw a rod in April, so, yeah. <laughs> no, not, not my beat-up 91 Chevy, the uh, 93 F-150, so, yeah, that, th that died, so, October in April! <sighs> so, pretty much, here I am trying to get the bus to work, and my idiot crybaby manager, Ronald, was, uh, you need to start getting here on time. I'm getting here as best as I can. You want to give me a car? Give me a car! Switch my shifts. I don't care. So they ended up switching my shifts and everything. And it was all right. Still hate taking the bus, but it is what it is. I mean, I ended up getting a car. I think I forget when, when I was able to use the bland marquee, but that right there was a dud. Yeah, it rode. It ran. It drove. But it was not me. And... It had no working windows, as you... Hell, I even showed you that video. I'll probably post a link down in the doobly-doo below. 
But when I told my younger brother Robert, who bought that stupid bland marquee, that I found a 97 Taurus for 700 with working windows, he said, why don't you say this car? So you picked a car that ran and drove, but no windows. <laughs> Good job. I mean, that would have been like a, that would have been a caveat. It's like, fix the windows or no deal. That would have been me, but what do I know? It wasn't my money, and I could have... I mean, I was actually trying to get my own car to get back, but you know how family is. They want to do things their way because you're not doing fast enough. <laughs> temper. So, yeah. I mean, our mom made, mom made it back around May. I mean, after we after Vanderbilt and then rehab in Aaron, Tennessee. So, yeah, it took her a long time for her to get back to driving again. I mean, not that that's a problem, because, I mean, sometimes, if you're not comfortable driving, ask somebody else to take you. Take the bus. I don't know. But, yeah. I mean, we were getting, yeah, things were starting to come back to normal. Yeah. Despite the fact that everything has happened, I mean. <laughs> and then, December. December happened. <laughs> yeah, almost a year to the day where Boogie died. In fact, I think it was a week before, no, I don't know when it happened. I think it was the 12th, no, 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 but it was early December, first week of December, where I read in the newspaper where a man walking down the boulevard gets hit by a truck, and he was all wearing all black. I'm thinking, hmm. And then my mom got the memo, and my Aunt Carol got the memo, and I'm like, oh, God. So we all travel back to Vanderbilt, and hopefully for the last goddamn fucking time, there was my father in a coma. No chance of him getting out because he had a severed spinal cord and everything, and even if he was coming out of the coma, he would have required a lot of, I don't know. It was really a hard decision. But we decided to just, and that was it. I mean, my Aunt Carol and Joey were with us, so... At least, we had family. But it was just, I mean... And I even made a video about being an empty Christmas, because that was when you lost, a, when I lost a family member, when my dad passed. I mean, yeah, he wasn't much, I mean, he was, up, he was, his mental and physical health were not going, were not going great, but at least he was still with us. So, yeah. Even though the month is over, October never ends. That's just my two cents. So, the next time, whatever it is, I'm going to see thanks for watching Combox Open.